Boba Fett. Today we are making a Boba Fett cake out of buttercream to celebrate the book of Boba Fett. This is exciting, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. My name is Tamia Morrison. I think that's how you say it, Tamira? More than <laughs> And today we're making a Boba Fett cake. Now, like I said in my previous videos, for 2022, I'm gonna be making cakes covered in buttercream. This cake is covered in buttercream. There are elements of it that are made with fondant, but for the most part, the helmet is buttercream, the body is buttercream. If you haven't already seen my Mandalorian cake, I made a cake very similar to this, but I covered it with fondant. I knew I was gonna be creating a Boba Fett cake very similar to that, but I really wanted to see if I could cover it with just buttercream. So this was a really good test and also very scary because I did not know if this was gonna come out. So let's get started. I'm kind of curious, can you guess the flavor of this cake? It looks really weird. <laughs> it's actually a pistachio raspberry upside down cake. It wasn't supposed to be an upside down cake, but all of the raspberries just sank to the bottom and that's why it looks like this. It was a happy accident though, because this cake was delicious. Now I'm using two four inch half dome cakes for his body. And then I added my support system with a PVC pipe coupler and an acrylic circle. Now these acrylic circles, I made them myself. Before I had these, I was just using pieces of cake board and cardboard, but I was making so many of these cakes and I was just throwing them away. So I thought I'd create something that I could just wash and reuse. I'm actually changing my PVC pipe system right now to make it more stable. So as soon as I'm happy with it, I'll be posting links. To create his head, I'm starting with a six inch round cake, two of them, and I'm topping it off with a six inch half dome cake. Each layer tastes like pistachio and raspberries. The raspberries were so juicy, it's like, it's incredible. <laughs> the recipe is obviously not finalized since all the raspberries didn't stay where I wanted them to. But once it is, I'll share that as well. And I'm gonna give my entire cake a crumb coat. And because I'm covering this with buttercream, the crumb coat is extremely important. So I placed this in the fridge for about two hours. Then I started to carve my Boba Fett helmet shape. This process is very similar to my Mandalorian cake, except I didn't finish this piece with fondant. I just covered it with more buttercream. I love the way that this looks. The giant head with a small body and a little pudgy belly. It's just so cute. It looks like a toy. Now, when I was carving the helmet, I just used my Boba Fett toy as my reference point, but only for the helmet. For his body, I tried to give him that black sort of fabric that he's wearing in the book of Boba Fett. After I was happy with my shape, I covered it up with more buttercream and then I put it in the fridge to set. Took it out and we started to cover my cake in buttercream. So I've got green buttercream going on. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This was so scary. I was like, if I screw up, I don't even have enough fondant to cover this cake. Which is weird because I've covered cakes with buttercream before. So I don't know why I thought this was going to be so hard. After I covered his helmet with green buttercream, I proceeded to cover his body with gray. Originally, I was just gonna do the classic Boba Fett, but then I was like, why am I doing that? Now, the thing about buttercream cakes is that you can't really work on them when the buttercream is soft. To get a nice, smooth texture, I had to put this cake back in the fridge a few times to make sure that it was hard so that I could really start to smoothen out the shape with my offset spatula. It's a lot more work than adding fondant, but also it tastes better. Once I was happy with the shape of my mask, I added black buttercream to the bottom of my cake. And I wanted this to be a very thin layer because there was already gray buttercream. So I'm using a paintbrush to paint on some thinned out buttercream. When I was using my offset spatula, I was really able to get a smooth surface. But all of that sculpting work really messed with the color of my buttercream. So some parts are lighter than others. So to solve that problem, I thinned out my buttercream and added a very thin layer on top with a paintbrush. That way I can have my smooth surface and it won't be discolored. Once I was happy with that, it was time to start adding all my fondant elements. I know you can do this with buttercream, but it just seems like a hassle to be piping out all of that buttercream, putting it in the fridge to solidify, taking it out and then sculpting it. I was like, nah, you know what? I got other things to do, like watch Ozarks. Do you think I'm gonna wait for all this buttercream? Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Now 
Once I finished with his body, I added some fondant to the front of my cake. I didn't want to do this cake completely with buttercream. I think fondant is a really good tool for details. Also, because my buttercream isn't completely smooth, there is still texture with the paintbrush. The fondant elements actually make this look more polished. Voila, my Boba Fett cake was complete. Is it just as good as a Mandalorian cake? I think so. There were some small details that I kind of overlooked because I was just so excited to finish this cake. But I'm just so proud of this. The, the buttercream is so smooth that it just looks like a cake covered in fondant. Now my favorite part about this cake was cutting into it. It cuts so much better than cutting into a cake with fondant. This year, I really think I'm just gonna push myself to do more buttercream sculptures. Now let's talk. So what do you think about the Book of Boba Fett? I am on the fence. I think the present day stuff works way better than the like, I don't know, flashback sequences. But I'm torn because I just love so many of the other elements. I love the twins. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be making a hut cake very soon. And the rancor. That guy's gonna stand up and eat somebody at the end of the series. I'm pretty sure. Somebody has to die. That's one of the things I really can't believe is that nobody's died yet. <laughs> this is a gangster show and nobody's died. Come on, Disney. <laughs> the only thing I really don't like about this show is the like teenage mutant biker gang. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like too Saved by the Bell for me. I don't understand it. It feels so out of place in this show. <laughs> oh, Mochi! Mochi, guys. So I'm really glad you like Mochi. I love Mochi. And I love that you think he's a puppy because he looks like a puppy, doesn't he? This guy's old and he's falling apart. Oh, Mochi. He's got so many problems. He's got diabetes. He's got Cushing's. He's got glaucoma. He's blind. The vet bills this year have been so extravagant. And nobody knows that because look at this face. So cute. I got to figure out how to clone this guy because I want him forever. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have some Encanto buttercream doll cakes coming your way. That movie. Oh my gosh, the soundtrack is so good. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye. I kind of hate love this pistachio raspberry cake. It tastes bomb, but it looks like a Starbucks drink that you forgot in your car and then you remembered after a few hours and you're like, you know what? The whipped cream looks a little disgusting, but I'm still gonna drink it. This recipe definitely needs to be improved, but it's still pretty good. 2022 is going to be the year of buttercream. I'm gonna make sure that 95% of my cakes are covered in buttercream. I've covered round cakes in buttercream, but I've never covered a sculpted cake. It was daunting and I kind of don't like change, so I didn't handle it all too well. But now that I'm through it, I love it. I can't wait to create more cakes. My Boba Fett cake came out so good, but you know what? I really don't know how to cut a 90 degree angle. Look at this, it's crooked. Okay, you did not understand the assignment and I'm not really sure why you're smiling all that much. You did, you got a D plus. <laughs> cake looks and tastes good, but you need some practice with that knife. I was so excited for the book of Boba Fett. When he appeared in The Mandalorian, I go, oh my gosh, I was such a fangirl. When I read the news that Boba Fett was getting a show, I knew I was gonna be making cake almost instantly. He just looks so dope. The new paint job on his helmet, he's got that nice black fabric. Girl, who's your stylist? Cause they need to get a raise. I'm so excited to see what they do with this character and I can't wait to see what happens next.